divide using synthetic division. Let's go ahead and work it out. So the first thing you want to do is draw a funny little bracket like this. And if there's a plus 3 here, you put a minus 3 here. So you just switch the sign. If it was x minus 3, instead you would put a plus 3 here. But it's x plus 3, so we put a minus 3. Then you want to write the coefficients of whatever is here in the numerator. So we have a 1 here in front of the x cubed, so 1. Here we're missing a power of x squared, but there's really a 0x squared here. So we have to think about that and include the 0. And then we have negative 2. And the last one is 4. Okay, then you draw a line. So to recap, first thing you do is you look here and you switch the sign. And then you write the coefficients down. 1, 0, negative 2, 4. All right, now the first thing you do is you take this number here, the 1, and you just write it down. And then you multiply. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And then you add 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Then you multiply. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Then you add negative 2 plus 9 is 7. And finally, you multiply again. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And then to finish, you add, and you end up with negative 17. So to recap, you write the 1 down. 1 times 3, that's negative 3. Add, you get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's 9. Add, you get 7. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. Add, you get negative 17. The final answer is written as follows. Here, there's a 3. So you start at 1 less, so you start at 2. So it's 1 times x squared, which is simply 1, right? 1 times x squared is x squared, rather. And then here, it's minus 3x, and then plus 7. Plus this number, this is the remainder, negative 17, over whatever is here. That's called the divisor, so x plus 3. And that is the final answer. Now, if we had a 4 here, if it was like x to the 4th, then we would start with the 3 down here. I hope that made sense.